Hey guys, what's up? I Bubba's coming at you with another D2 video. I just thought to make a little video on Barb. Um, it's a class I love to play. And this this uh, video is just going to be kind of about my Barb, where it's at. Um, this obviously isn't the first character I've made during this season, or I guess it's not really a season, it's just the start of D2. But it is online. Um, and I just want to kind of show you like some gear and stuff to look for. Uh, to build an early Barb, just to have an easy way. Barb is one of the harder characters to play through the game, but if you can find a little bit of gear to give yourself, you can make it super easy uh, to get through the game and just basically they call it twinking, like twinking at your character. But yeah, uh, let's go through some of the gear and stuff I've got. Um, I do have, um, I started out with some Berserker stuff. I just love this set. Uh, and it actually looks really good in D2R, uh, but, you know, it's not great. Uh, it's okay for starting out, but, like, most people just throw it away because it's not that good. And, like, getting through, like, like by Act 2 or Act 3, you're going to want to get rid of the Berserker set anyway. Most of the time through Act 1, you want to get rid of it because it's not really that great of a set. But, it's fun. Then I switched to Saigon's. Saigon set is amazing. Um, Barb is one of the best characters to wear it on because it requires a ton of strength. Um, and then also I had some Blood Rise um, weapons which just made the early game super easy. Once I hit level 15, um, there were some Sanders gloves. We got Venom Grip, just a whole array of early gear. Right now what we're wearing is a Bone Snap. Uh, pretty good early game uh, you can up this and even double up it uh, sometimes like if I especially if I find a perfect one like perfect enhanced damage I'll double up it just to have it but it does some decent damage and it has some resist as well uh, the 40 crushing blow is really nice uh, getting through the game um, but there is a better weapon later on called the gavel of pain which i like it doesn't have crushing blow and stuff but it has some amp damage which is really nice um i'm wearing a lore helm um i'm wearing a rattle cage rattle cage kind of drops off like halfway through nightmare i would say um because it just doesn't have resists on it uh now you could socket it but like and put like a numb or something in it or, or like a a row rune or something but like it's not really worth it um for jewelry we've got angelic wings angelic halos uh, you can see just tons of attack rating you get with these uh they're really nice i would recommend at least having one amulet and one ring uh they they just make everything go much smoother that's the one problem with melee in this game is if you can't hit stuff you can't do damage right so so you need some attack rating and angelic just helps you get there super easy and then i'm just wearing my ik boots ik belt ik gloves that's the best part about some of this uh, ik stuff is it is lower level and i do have the rest of the ik set here that i'll go into later as i reach level obviously we've got a long ways to go to get to level 76 i'm currently level 40 pretty much done with normal normal you can normally go to like 40 level 45 ish but then you want to kind of move to nightmare get some better drops and stuff so moving forward in the game as i said i got the gavel of pain i do have a raven frost when i hit level 45 that's going to just be insane cannot be frozen it's pretty much like needed on a melee character especially um, I do have a nature's piece for later on. I probably not wear this, but I can put it on later farming like Nithalak and stuff. Nithalak uses corpse explosion. So if you use nature's piece, it basically destroys the corpses so he can't like one shot you with corpse explosion. It's a nice little quality of life thing if you're key farming, which is what I plan to do on this character later in the game is do some key farming so I can do some ubers because I have a smiter up. Uh, so yeah um, that's pretty much it um, 
I do have some other gear that I could go into later as well, which I probably will. I have a smoke, which is a really good early armor. Neflum isn't too hard to get. <clears throat> and it has 50 auras plus some decent defenses. So, yeah. All in all, a pretty good, you know, low-level entry rune word um, <clears throat> to just kind of help you get through the game. And I also have a duress, um, which I was actually using on my mercenary, but I took it off just in case. Uh, well, I, I was using it on my mercenary on my other character, but I took it off uh, because I was going to play my barb. And just in case I need a little extra help, I can throw on duress. Uh, and then once I get my IK armor on, of course, this armor will go back on my mercenary on my other character. So he doesn't die. Uh, but all in all, Duress is a great um, item for your mercenary and for you to wear. Um, it's really nice. So this is a little higher strength, which is why I'm using it on Barb and using it on my mercenary. But it's pretty nice armor overall. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much my gear that I have now that I had in the past and that I'm going to have moving forward ik set is just a fun set to play and you can basically do anything in the game with ik set which is really nice um it, it's really decent for some magic finding um so yeah um i did find some nice little charms some max damage attack rating strength dex life uh and a nice little small charm here uh, these will just help a little bit through the game but yeah, I'll do a quick like bail run. Um, again, we are level 40 and we do have some good gear. Um, I'll just show you how I like to farm Diablo. And this works in normal Nightmare and Hell. Obviously in Nightmare and Hell you need a little, little better gear to do this. Um, but as Barbarian one of the drawbacks is just speed so i'd like to just focus on getting bail down uh, as a barbarian and man the lag this is one of the best parts about playing online battle net is just like getting a little lag spike but yeah basically we use our leap uh, to just get through impossible. stuff impossible if we don't just keep lagging And basically we're just going to go pop the seals like we're not gonna we're not gonna mess around with killing like we could stop and kill these elite packs but like i'm level 40 at this point i'm ready to move on so i don't care about killing elite packs or anything uh you know i've got like all the the best gear i need uh in normal right now so it's best to just move on to nightmare and start finding some farming spots in nightmare so we're just going to pop the Zir, and you can see I didn't even use Whirlwind. Just smacked him in the face with auto attack because my gear is super good for this point in the game. And that's pretty much all we're doing here is just popping seals. And you can also use Leap. If you get in a uh, situation, you can just use a little bit of leap. It kind of knocks stuff back from you. It's a nice little thing to uh, for safety. And we're going to try to get out. Where is Lord Jesus? Here he is. Jump back to him, punch him in the face. Try to get out. I want to pick up that amulet. just in case it's good and yeah so you can see I take a, a decent amount of damage like this you know by any means it isn't like you know super tank build which is why I like farming this way with it because farming this way um, it doesn't take hours to try to kill stuff basically you get in you get out you leap around, everything is dead. 
And we're ready to kill Bale. Or Diablo, rather. Bale's much farther ahead. Not even death can save you from me. And again, we can whirlwind if we like. Or you can just auto attack him. We have enough crushing blow and stuff. Um, that it doesn't really matter. And that's that's pretty much a Diablo run. And we didn't get any goodies out of that. But yeah, uh, you can make some easy Diablo bear runs. Uh, get to level 40, 45. Once you're 40, 45, go through Nightmare and, you know, just start upgrading your gear some more. Obviously, farming on a different character like a sorceress or something and, you know, finding better gear to build up your barb is obviously better at the start of a ladder, which is like what I did. I just farmed up some gear and then now I'm just having a blast playing a barb with some overpowered items. It's pretty fun. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you guys out a little bit uh, if you're starting a barb in the future. Uh, I hope you do. Barbarian is my absolute favorite class in the game. I just love it. I love playing it. I end up making like, you know, seven to ten barbs a ladder or something. It's ridiculous. I have a problem. I know that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.